Welcome to ITSS Online Training. I'm Pierre Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system, ITSS. This is lesson 30, connect a PLC and get started. One of the very first things you want to test in a SCADA system is a connection to a PLC. So let's see how you set up a project and connect to a PLC. First, we start up the ITSS master module. This is the control center of ITSS. And we can see that it's actually starting up a project right now, but uh, we want to create a brand new project to show you this functionality. There you go. And we can go to the application button and click design mode. This will allow us to create a new project. We click the project wizard button to create a new project. Click next. Yes, we want to create a new ITSS project. Um, Siemens S7 test. This is the driver that we're going to test. We put it in this location, C IGSS configurations, IGSS 9, and a subfolder with the name Siemens S7 test is automatically created. Next, in this simple scenario, we just select a single user station. And on the next tab, we want to select the driver. Click New Driver. And the driver that we are using here is number 72. There are actually two drivers that you can use for Siemens S7. There's the um, Siemens S7 protocol driver, which requires Sematic software. And then there's the driver ID 72, which is a simplified uh, TCP IP uh, protocol driver for Siemens S7. We click OK and we click uh, New Interface to specify that it's an IP network connection. We click New Node to create one PLC or one node for the Siemens S7 driver. That's all we need for this uh, single user scenario. We click the Finish button and we are directed into the system configuration program, the main setup program in IGSS. Now let's select the node. That's our PLC. The processor type is S7300400, that's correct. And we want to point to the IP address called 172.16.18.200. And we are using CPU slot number 3. That's all I need to specify for this particular PLC that I'm connecting to via the local area network. We click File, Save and Exit to save these changes. We are asked to install the project because this is the very first time that we are using this project. Uh, would you like to do that now? Yes. We click OK to the installation options. And it comes up and says, installation completed with no errors. There are 19 objects in your configuration. We click the No button because we don't want to view the report right now. There you go. Now we are in the master again. We click on the Design and Setup tab. If you don't see this tab, uh, you have to go to the Application button and select Design Mode over here. Um, let's go into the Definition module. So on the Design and Setup tab, go to the Definition module. First thing we do is we create a diagram so that we can see our new object that is linked to the PLC. Create. Uh, we call this uh, Siemens S7. Name to menu. That's the only option I want to use. Um, and we click OK. That's it. Um, now we create our new object. What you do in IGSS is you simply right click where you want the object on the uh, mimic diagram. You select new. You select analog elements for this particular one. This is a counter that I'm uh, pointing to. 
um, select the plus sign beside global. This is the uh, built-in area in, in IGSS in all new projects. We select analog and we give it a name and this is a counter object so the name is counter. We create the object, we come into the analog properties dialog. Um, the only thing we really need to do here is to select the scan interval on the data management definitions tab. We select 5 uh, seconds, so 5000 milliseconds and we want to log all changes for example. And finally we go to the edit mapping tab to specify the PLC address. We disable all the atoms that we don't need. We only need the process value actual value. We select the driver, that's the um, S7 TCP driver and it's on the demo station, that's the only station we have in our small system. Uh, node number 0, that was the one we did in the uh, wizard and this is a tag that is located at data block number 50, word number 0. So that's all I need to set up in my properties dialog in order to get a connection. We click OK and we can move the move the value up here so that we can see it more clearly in Supervise. We're ready to install our changes. File, check and install. We save the changes. We click OK to the installation options. We click No and we close down the um, definition module and I just want to check one more thing is it running simulated or is it running in real mode this you can test in the system configuration module data collection tab yes we are running in real mode we are not running simulated that's fine so we can just say exit the alarm and supervised modules uh, appear and we go into the diagram menu where we have our Siemens S7 diagram and we can look at the values which come directly from the PLC now this is our counter object in the PLC we have a connection now if you want to look more closely at these values coming in or the packets coming in from the PLC you can actually view them directly in IGSS. Go to the IGSS master, go to runtime and diagnostics, and we have a window called communications. This is the communications window. There are no data right now. This is because we need to start it manually here. Start button at in the lower left corner. Start button is logging on to the driver interface. Communications analyzer is active. And now we can see the packets coming in, uh, data from PLC, um, and we can actually see the uh, data points. Let me just uh, show you here. Uh, so the newest data here, and we can see the exact format of the data here in um, binary, decimal, and hexadecimal format and a correct timestamp up here in um, millisecond resolution. That's it. You are ready to uh, work with IGSS because now we have the connection to the PLC. That's all for this lesson. Please refer to our website www.igss.com for further information. Thank you for listening.